hi, we're trading the ES on a 2000 tick chart with the 21 EMA. So I put my overnight highs here, overnight lows here. Um, I just thought they fit the best there. I think it fits a lot better down here than it does here. So then you have the two two touches and then at 8.30, the breakout, or at 8.34. Um, so yeah, we have this range. We're in the downtrend here. We have a break, new low, two attempts to reverse, it reverses back down, um, breaks out of the overnight lows, and then it fades. And then here you can, there's almost a trade there. This downtrend here has a break and a new low. Um, a couple attempts lower and then a good signal bar. It's at an area that you'd expect a reversal, which is a breakout of the overnight lows. So it, it doesn't look that bad, but I, I skipped it just because for two reasons. It was because of the congestion and it didn't have, and it was directly into the EMA and the trend line, the uh, range line. So just because all three of those reasons together, I didn't want to take that. But um, and here we go up. We have a break, new high, a couple of extra legs up. I didn't have this at the time, obviously. So we start to go up. We keep getting corrections that are very shallow. They don't reach the EMA. So, and here we go into a range. We have two legs back. So first entry long, second entry long, and we break out of these lows. And then it fails, and you don't get a setup though because the bar closes all the way at the highs. But had this bar closed down here, I think that would have been a good trade. And so. Then we have a spike up, and we have this downtrend break, new low, we go into a range, and then here is where I got my first trade of the day. So we broke out of the overnight highs, two legs down, and then we get a reversal pattern, barely closing above the EMA. It's a breakout pullback as well off of this mini congestion, so that's what I saw there. And then right after I got this trade, I ended up drawing this channel here. So I got the channel after the trade, um, yeah. So we have the big spike up, then we have this short-term downtrend inside of this bigger downtrend, and it has a break, an attempt at a new low, but it almost looks like two attempts. It kind of looks like a failed second entry because of this um, bear bar. But we bounce off the key entry point again, which even that looks almost tempting because you could get out one-to-one -one before you even, you even reach this trend line here. But we push through the EMA, we have uh, this higher low right after coming off the key entry point. I was actually, I was considering going for one to two on this trade because uh, of that video I made a couple days ago where I had the uptrend and then everything was working and so I ended up going for one to two. But I didn't want to go for one to two, which actually, if I went for one to two, I actually would have gotten stopped out, it, it appears. Um, but for just two reasons that I didn't want to go for one to two. One is because there wasn't a very deep pullback on this entry. So it was a higher low. There's not a super deep pullback. Usually I'd want a nice deep pullback, but I thought it was fine since it was right, out, right after coming off the key entry point and it's very biased to upward. But it's just not a, not a setup that I would want to go for one to two risk to reward on. Um, if, it, if, had a, if it had a deeper pullback, like if it went up higher and really pulled back, then I think maybe I would have gone for one to two, but, you know, I didn't think it was worth it. So, here we have a reversal pattern, first entry long, second entry long, failure, below the EMA, held off the EMA twice, but this uptrend is still in play and you're expecting a new high, so I would avoid going short there. Um, so yeah, then we... That puts us into this downtrend. We have a break, new low. We go into a range. And this is where I got my third trade of the day. Um, it's a breakout. Most breakouts fail off the high, off the overnight highs. So I was kind of worried about it going into the EMA. But it, I mean, it rushed above. It, it didn't hold onto it. It just rushed above. So I figured if it hasn't held yet, it might not hold. It might just rush back down. It is at the right spot to do it. That's off the highs of off the overnight highs. Break out of this little range. Most breakouts fail. I thought it was pretty good. I entered like on the right on the end, like that. Yeah. So then that puts us into this move down. We have a break, two legs down to a new low. We reverse higher, go into this uptrend, and here 
Uh, it's not. A, I don't think it's a good trade right here, but it's an uptrend break. Expecting a new high. First entry long, second entry long off the EMA and off the highs of the day. So, or off the overnight highs, not the highs of the day, but the overnight highs. Um, so, anyways, then this uptrend is a break, new high, rush back below the EMA, rush back above, you get this higher low. Um, it's really sideways. I wouldn't want to enter on in anything in here, but a um, couple legs up, we go into another range, we break out, it fails, we break out the lows, it fails, just like the range rules always happen. Now we're in this uptrend here, so uptrend, and we have first entry long, second entry long right now, which I guess I'll draw. Connection lost. Oh, I just lost connection. I don't know if if y'all can hear it. Okay, there, okay. Uh, well, um, okay, that was kind of weird just now. I lost connection. Um, at least it didn't stop recording, so whatever. Um, all right, well, I guess that's the video. So I hope y'all had a good trading day. Um, hope y'all were up a lot of points. Um, anyway, have a good day.